829.9 meters that is the length of the tallest building tower structure thing in the world which is the Burj Khalifa look definitions won't really matter because by the end of this video we will be discussing what is the longest thing in the universe with longest defined as a structure connected in some way with similar parts the Burj Khalifa while being the tallest building tower thing structure in the world isn't actually going to remain that for long because by the year 2020 a new building is going to be completed which will surpass it and it's called the Jeddah Tower the Jeddah Tower will be the first building that will break the one kilometer height barrier but it's not exactly the first building ever thought of that would break the one kilometer barrier you can find all kinds of proposed buildings that break the one kilometer barrier and even the one mile barrier you can find some of them in this chart over here compared to actual buildings that exist in our time today the question is why haven't we built some of these buildings if they are actually feasible what is preventing us from building them one of the biggest limitations when it comes to building really tall buildings is the fact that they become inefficient when you want to get things from the bottom floors to the top floors elevator technology at this point in time only allows you to go 575 meters anymore and you have a risk of the entire elevator system breaking down under the weight of the entire system this means if you enter a really tall building and you want to go all the way to the top you would have to go into an elevator go all the way until the elevator's limit step out enter another elevator and then go to the top floor if you build a building that's 1150 meters tall you would have to enter not two but three elevators and if you build taller and taller buildings the problem becomes worse and worse and worse another issue facing the practicality of building really tall buildings is this after you pass the one mile ish barrier you better make sure that the base of the building you are building is really strong otherwise there's a risk of the building collapsing this means the buildings have to start looking essentially like mountains in theory if you wanted to build a building using conventional building materials that's one meter taller than Mount Everest then you would need a base that's around 4100 square kilometers big and that's around 115 times larger than the base of the exceed tower that I've shown you earlier now the title of this video isn't what is the tallest building it is what is the longest thing and if we think of long as something that is connected by similar parts in some way then these things exceed anything I've mentioned so far and if you take a look at proposed things that are very long then you're going to find some very very long things there is something called the space elevator which is an elevator that takes you you guessed it to space it's a very basic system you just need four main components the first component is an anchor a station here on earth the second component is a counterweight another station in outer space it can be something we build and we send to outer space or we can just capture something in outer space already such as an asteroid the third component is a cable attached between the two stations the fourth component is a climb bar you could also call it an elevator between the two points it can go up and down this animation basically shows you how it works nothing really too complex things are not the scale though especially the cable it has to be centimeters thin the length the distance is actually to scale but everything else is not to scale designs also vary in terms of how far you can build a space elevator um, but in almost all cases they need to be 35,786 kilometers above earth's surface in this particular case the animation shows you a space elevator that's 144,000 kilometers above earth's surface in either case you can see it at the kind of lengths we are talking about it's longer than anything else i've mentioned so far 
Now, there's a number of engineering challenges that you will have to resolve before you can actually build a fully functioning space elevator. One of the biggest problems seems to be finding a material with the ultimate tensile strength necessary to build a stable cable without having this cable be larger than the observable universe. <coughs> Steel, that's not really going to work. These materials might be able to do the job, but producing them commercially seems to be a bigger problem at this point in time. You also have the problem of finding a way to provide energy to the climber or elevator to actually climb or elevate. Just slapping solar panels on the climber or the elevator or expecting the cable itself to provide energy to this climber or elevator without having it become unstable seems to be something that is difficult to do. You also have the problem of maintenance. Replacing tens of thousands of kilometers of cable in space every few years is going to be a challenge that you will have to resolve. There's also the problem of events that could happen that can destabilize the space elevator system, such as space debris hitting parts of the space elevator. Then you also have economics, opportunity cost. If reusable rockets like the Falcon 9 become mainstream, would you really want to build a space elevator, does it make economic sense? Regardless of what happens, if we find solutions to these challenges and actually build a functioning space elevator, then we have essentially built the longest thing we will ever build, right? There is the idea of the Dyson Sphere, which is a mega structure designed to envelop an entire star and capture as much energy from it as possible. However, building a sphere, a holosphere in the way you imagine it, is a very difficult thing to do. You need some space between the parts that make up the sphere, and chances are you would need more material than what is available in the star system. So it's impractical. Maybe you want to build a simpler version of that. How about the Dyson ring or the Dyson rings? You can make more than one if you want it. Now, if you wanted to build a Dyson ring or a Dyson sphere or any other kind of Dyson structure, chances are you want to build it much further away than what I have shown you in the animation. The only reason I've shown you an animation looking like this is so that you can actually see the star. If things were to scale, the star would essentially disappear. Generally speaking, you want to build your Dyson sphere or ring somewhat close to the habitable zone of a star. The problem is this habitable zone varies significantly depending on what kind of star you're talking about. It can be enormously far away or it can be pretty close to the star. If we ever decide to build some sort of a Dyson structure, let's say a Dyson ring, chances are we would have developed technologically to the point where we have expanded to other star systems. And if we reach that point, we will want to build the Dyson ring around red dwarfs or white dwarfs. Not only because these stars can support Dyson rings that are much closer to them than that of the sun, but also because these stars live much longer than the sun trillions of years rather than billions of years. Now we might be able to build structures that are longer and larger such as this Dyson Sphere idea proposed to be built around a super massive black hole, but let's go beyond what we can build, beyond what we could ever build, beyond what any alien civilization can ever build, beyond what anything can build, into the longest thing in the universe, and that is the hypothesized cosmic string. Cosmic strings are thought to be one-dimensional objects. They have no width, no height, but they do have length. Because of this, they are extremely thin, thinner than fundamental particles. However, they are still very dense. A one mile long piece of cosmic string is probably more massive than Earth itself. Cosmic strings are thought to be cracks that are a result of the early universe and have been expanding along with the universe. They could extend all the way across the observable universe and they might extend even beyond that. So these things are very 
very long. One particular study conducted by the University of Buffalo studied 355 quasars. Quasars are these galaxies that shoot essentially really high energy beams from their galactic center. 183 of those quasars they found were aligned in a particular way that hinted there is something causing that alignment. And one of the likely culprits for this alignment is a cosmic string. Now, in this particular case, the cosmic string would have long faded away, but its residue gravitational effect would have caused these quasars to be aligned in that way. If we ever find conclusive evidence for the existence of cosmic strings, then chances are we have discovered what is essentially the longest thing in the universe. But what do you think? What is the longest thing? Thank you very much, and I'll see you.